On the KIJ Chelsea, the Okanagan division had a weekend of very little success. The Coyotes lost a pair of one-goal games. Princeton and North Okanagan were winless. Summerland won one and lost one. And the Kelowna Chiefs managed a pair of ties on their home ice. Certainly not a weekend to crow about. As to the Suyus Coyotes, we heard this song last year. Looks like they're playing the same tune again. You know the one? Outplay the opposition by a considerable margin, including plenty of shots on goal, but come up a dollar short on the scoreboard. Friday night in chase, it was a late power play goal by Tyler Pavlovsky, with less than three minutes remaining for a 3-2 to two home ice 100 mile house win. Reed Wilson and Levi Morin scoring for the Coyotes who outshot the 100 mile housers 34 to 20. Saturday night in chase, Hunter Johnson scores his first junior goal to give the Coyotes the lead, but then the hometown Heat got the equalizer late in the first period, then scored midway through the second for a two to one win that held up. Coyotes out shooting the Heat 40 to 20 in that one. Just about every loss the Coyotes had last season, they outshot the opposition and handily in some cases. And of course at times they come up against a hot goaltender who wins the game for the other team. We've seen that three times so far this season. Anytime you go on the road and out shoot the home team by a two to one count, that's the type of road game to play. Usually keeps the hometown crowd from getting noisy and it usually wins, but not all the time as we saw this past weekend. Two more road games coming up this weekend. The Yotes are at MacArthur Park Arena in Kamloops. And they're cruising along with 10 more points in the standings than the Coyotes. Now listen to this. The Coyotes lead the Okanagan Division with 15 points. That would put them third in the Birch Division and fourth in both the Murdoch and Mountain Divisions. Sunday afternoon, Asuyus finishes the four games rotor with an afternoon encounter at North Okanagan against the Knights. Coyotes will be back on Sunball Ice midweek, Wednesday night, October 28th, to host the Grand Forks Border Bruins and the game night sponsor, Moon Cursor Vineyards. So that should be a good one for the fans. And if you're looking for a little extra cash for Halloween, chuck a duck jackpot at $300. Then the Coyotes have a Friday night encounter in Spokane with the Braves to end off October. And they'll open November by hosting the North Okanagan Knights and Coach Bryant Perrier, who for a while was coach of the Asuyu Storm in 2005 and 6. Meanwhile, new players Levi Moran, Tristan Olson, and Colton Rhodes were in the lineup. And all will be good additions to the team. If there was a surprise this weekend, it was the fact that the line of Reiner Glimple, Bobby LaRue, and Braden Tuck, who have amassed 52 scoring points, were just held totally off the score sheet this past weekend. Meanwhile, Cole Keebler from Fernie picked up a point weekend action, and he and Reiner Glimple both have 25 points to lead the KIJHL scoring race. I'm Tom Shields in Cairo, checking out the Coyotes.